Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video I would like to discuss the digital controller implementation. We have seen in the previous examples the digital controller design using the root locus method. In this case I would like to discuss how we can work out the diagram or the flowchart for this digital controller. So in this case I will discuss the first order digital controller and then move on in the next examples with the second order and other orders. Of course, this is then our example number one, and we'll see that step by step in our example. So let's look at an example. We have the following digital controller given. It is given by DZ. You can see here the U over E, and U is our commanding signal, which goes to our sample with a, pl uh, with a plant and a sample on hold together. And the Y is our output, and the E is here our error. And between E and the commanding input signal U, there is a digital controller or digital computer. And that is given by this Z transform expression. Now we would like to draw a flowchart for the implementation of this digital controller. We won't discuss the actual implementation in the microcontroller and in other, any, uh, let's say, uh, IC. It's just the flowchart for this digital controller expression. So let's see what we need to do for this example now the general first order transfer function can be expressed using this model you see the dz here which is has three parameters a0 a1 and b1 now looking at this transfer function given and looking at the model we can compare that the a0 is 2 a1 is 5 and a b1 is 6 so we can just compare that now in order to get now the expression for uz we can solve this by cross multiplication of this expression so if i bring it again here and if i now cross multiply that means uz times the denominator here in the right hand side is equal to ez times the numerator of the right hand side that's shown here now in order to get an expression for uz only so we work out these parentheses on the left side and we keep the right side and you have this expression now bring this, the second term in the left side, to the right hand side, and you will have this expression. And this is exactly what we needed. This is now an expression of uz in terms of the other parameters. The z to the power minus 1 means actually that there is a delay. And if you have a z to the power minus 2, that means you have uh, two delays in series. And the delay is practically the sample period. So that is then the sample frequency of course, one over the sample period. Now, the flowchart of a first order transfer function can be given in general by this diagram. This is an option, it is not the only available form of flowchart. What we see here is the following you see here the E star of t, that is actually now in the time domain, but star means there is a sampled version of it. That goes here is the error, which is in actually the EZ here in the Z domain. And we have a gain parts here, which are the triangles here. And we see another uh, delay block, which is non z to the power minus one. You see, actually, there is a delay here. There are two summations, and there's also some gain blocks here. Now, in order to get now the correct flowchart, you just look at this first order model, and you pick your a1, a0, and b1, and you substitute in here, and then you're actually practically done. So that's actually now here, and instead this delay, depending on the sample period and when you go now to the let's say the empty diagram the only thing you need to substitute now here is the a0 which is a 2 a1 which is a 5 looking at this table and a b1 i mean that's a 6. now we have everything but remember this summation here is a plus and a minus or there is a negative feedback and this the right uh, summation is just really a summation so you just sum the signals together why is this now correct? Let me also discuss that because that is also an uh, interesting thing because let's now prove this. Now we work now with this expression here. We can now say the following and in order to start that let's designate this node here, the signal here as Q star or Q of Z. So we can say the following, the U here is a summation of the 2 times the Q plus the Q goes through the delay and then also is multiplied by 5 and then comes together here, together that makes the U. That's actually shown here. So U is 2 times Q plus 5 
z to the power minus one so there is a delay and then again q okay of course you can now group this together so make this now in a fraction you see now here the expression now you can also say what is now q itself q is produced by the e minus the signal here and the signal here which goes in this summation block or summation no node is actually q times z to the power minus one and then times six that's actually shown here it will be subtracted from the e and then comes here that's actually shown here and we can of course make this such that we have all the q's grouped together so we move this minus six z to the power minus one z q i mean to the left side and then group this again together you have this now we need an expression which relates the e to u that is actually the proof we want to make so we can say what is the expression for q in order to get rid of this expression in here so the q is equal to e over 1 plus 6 z to the power minus 1 if i now substitute this the final form of the q this expression into the expression of u as a function of q then we have the following then we can write u is equal to 2 plus 5 z to the power minus 1 over this and then times the e and this expression if you now divide the left and the right hand side by the e is exactly as we have it when you have of course changed this to the z domain expression and that's exactly the proof for this diagram so and next time you don't have to prove this you now have seen this you just look at your template and you recognize your a0 a1 and b1 and then your flow chart is completed then you can now use this flow chart in order to set up the code for your digital controller and by the way a digital controller a digital filter is exactly the same as just a transfer function so you need to implement that in a microcontroller in the next uh, examples i will discuss also the second order systems and also higher order system to illustrate the concept of this template flow charts if you have any questions, comments, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time in another video. Take care.